Well, scrolling your Insta feed, you probably see a lot of pretty pictures, a lot of perfection, a lot of positivity in posts. Well, it turns out it's a toxic trend that could be causing emotional distress every time you log on. Hashtag positive vibes. Hashtag good energy. Hashtag goals. So many hashtags on social media. So much positivity. But wait a second. Are these hashtag good vibes only making you feel worse? It's a thing. It's called fake positivity. Dr. Jen Hardy, a psychologist and popular Instagrammer in her own right, weighs in. I think a lot of it is saying we're only allowed a certain number of emotions, and those have to do with, like, happy, excited, um, everything is great, good vibes only, I don't deal with hard, sad things. People are dealing with a lot of blatant negativity on social media, but it turns out positivity can be toxic, too. It becomes very dismissive, right? Because it's saying, oh, it all has to fit in this pretty little box. This social media is a performance. Your life is a performance. No, it is not. Your life is messy and complicated. A Pew Research study from 2020 found 49% of people say social media makes them feel depressed. 31% say it makes them feel lonely. This is where authenticity becomes so important. Local influencer Bailey Hawkins boasts a following of more than 80,000 people, mostly from here in Knoxville. She knows this world very well. And in between fashion and makeup posts, she keeps it real. We all have crap that's going on in our life. Not everything is like this cute dress that we're linking or a lip gloss that we love to share. Bailey started posting about her fertility struggles in 2019. Everybody that you encounter every single day is walking through something, and I think it just helps others not feel alone. Bailey also gets annoyed with fake positivity hashtags, like hashtag girl boss. We put so much pressure on women, especially nowadays, because we see other women doing it all, but at the end of the day, we cannot do it all, and we're not supposed to. Dr. Hardy agrees. They're selling you a life that they're not telling you the whole truth about. Bailey confirms that most of what you see isn't as organic as it seems. Every picture that I do for a partnership, for example, has to be approved by a brand, so it is staged. Dr. Hardy has tips to make sure you are not bombarded by things that make you feel bad. Set a timer so you can be mindful of how much time you're spending on social. Make sure you have diversity in your feed. I refuse to follow people who are really obviously fake. And conduct an audit of who you are following and cleanse your feed. Bailey has seen a great reward for her realness. She says it's helped her cultivate a closer, more connected community of followers. When I started sharing more like real life stuff, I just really started to build true friendships with people that I've never met in real life. Hmm. Boy, I just the pressure to do it all, yes. to be perfect, to, you know, be the super mom and the, the girl boss and yeah. all the things. I mean, it can be overwhelming. It for is. People. You know what annoys me? The hashtag mom life. Oh. Like, I don't know what's going on in your house, but that's not what's happening in mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, crazy. It's a circus. <laughs> my mom, my hashtag mom life would be me with baby vomit on my shirt. Yeah, and because like, that's real life. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just real life. Um,